In today's video, we're going to replace this outlet because you see it's a little bit loose. So its tension has worn out over the years, so it's time to replace this entire outlet. I have my replacement plug ready to go, which leads me to what do I use to verify that that circuit is off when I flip the circuit breaker. I have this push in, this plug in type of diagnostic tool, a non contact voltage detector, and a voltmeter. Which one should I use? These plug testers are great because they can tell you all sorts of information just by simply plugging it into the outlet and reading what lamps come on. In this case, it says that everything is correct. But what if I turned off the circuit? Then the lights would all go out, right? Surely that's a good indication. Well, no, because if you look here, it says that if all the lamps are off, it could also be an open hot which could be a dangerous situation to get into because you could electrically shock yourself. So this is not the tool to verify that this circuit is off. A voltmeter, whether analog or digital, will give you a reading of the voltage. These clips are kind of loose, so it's going to... See, this is why it needs replacing. There we go. We have a reading. It can also let you test whether if you have... Uh, functional ground, whether there's voltage on your neutral. So it's great for some diagnostic work. It's also great, it'll verify that the voltage has been turned off when you, when you open the circuit breaker. But it is cumbersome at best. This finally leads us to the non-contact voltage detector. It's a simple device, not all that expensive. Turns on, gives you a green light when there's no current in the area. You, it, since it's non-contact, it's a, a plastic probe at the end. You insert it into your socket. Green means that there's no current. A flashing red, you can also have it go off with the tone. I've disabled the tone on this. So this flashing red tells me that there's voltage present. If I go into the ground, there's nothing there. This side of the plug is hot. This side, there's no voltage. No voltage there. No voltage on the screw. When you turn off the circuit, you'll get a green on everything. Then the beauty of it is that once you take this plate out and pull that socket out, you can also test around for any wires. Because sometimes you have hot wires that are traveling through and you just want to be aware that they're there, especially if they're exposed, so that you don't get shocked. We've turned off the circuit breaker. We put in our socket tester, and we get no light, indicating one of two things, either no power or an open hot. With the voltmeter plug in, we get zero readings, so we're pretty sure this circuit is dead indeed, but again, you have to deal with all this stuff. Finally, we use our non-contact probe, and there is no indication of any power in this circuit. So we're good to at least take the plate off, then we'll probe once more once we're inside to make sure there are no wires that are hot traveling through. We've removed the center screw to take off the wall plate, there was some uh, insulation that also came off. Then we loose, loosened the top and took off the bottom screw so it could pull it away from the opening. And now we can go in here, verify that there is no voltage. Then we probe the inside, touching each and every wire, including ground and the box. And everything's green, so there is no voltage. It is safe to work on this. Oh, and for those of you who want to know how to install this, the brass looking contacts are, take the black leads, that's the load side, and the white or silver side is the neutral side, which is your white cables. So you see there is black here. So 
I'm just going to transfer those wires to this brass side. And then we see the white contacts here and the white wire. And those are just going to attach right here. Then you have a ground wire that's going to attach to the ground screw right there. Usually it's green. This one is really old, so it's kind of black. But it's a brand new. It's not used. It just happens to be to have been in storage for a really long time. And th that'll be it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is connect ground, because that's just the smart thing to do. And then we'll, it doesn't matter if you do hot or neutral because the circuit is dead. But we'll get all those hooked up and then fold the wires back in the way they came out. Push this back in, attach top and bottom screws that are included already with this set. And then in the center, the screw for the wall plate and we'll be done. Oh, orientation wise, I like having ground down. Apparently there is no code that tells you to do it one way or the other. So everything else in the house has ground down. So I'm just going to go with that way. Two things I forgot to mention. One, when you attach the wires, make sure they go on clockwise because the screw is going to go on clockwise to tighten. So if you wrap the wire the other way, counterclockwise, it's just going to loosen up on you. So make sure it's going clockwise. Also, when you tighten these screws, you got to be pretty firm on them. You can't just snug them up. It has to be a very nice, tight grip. So you're going to have to use a little bit of force. You're not going to break anything unless you're super strong. But you don't want these coming loose, you know, in three or five years. We now have all our wires attached. Black, black on the brass side. White, white on the silver white screws. Those are super tight. We have our ground hooked up. So now we're ready to fold back these wires into the outlet box and attach via the top screw, bottom screw, cover plate that screws on in the center. And you're done. I didn't think there was much need to show you me actually screwing these in because if you can't do that then you shouldn't be doing this. Then um, once we have all this together we'll be able to turn on the circuit. Didn't have another plastic plate so we went with the metal plate. It's still the original screw I need to find. Just a metal screw. Uh, this is GFCI protected from a, a GFCI from a GFCI that's in the circuit but uh, further upstream yes upstream so it protects this circuit so you should mark that so that uh, anyone working on this is just aware of it time to energize the circuit with the circuit on we'll use this tester make sure that it's properly wired and I get two yellows which mean everything is correct do it on the bottom one Boy, this is a brand new outlet. You can tell because it's it's hard to push it in, but we're good there. And now and that is the correct side for energy to be on. That's neutral, that's ground. And we're good. So this has been wired correctly. We verified it with two devices. In summary, when installing plugs and you need to determine that there is no voltage after you've turned off a circuit breaker to the wiring that comes into the box and to the plug itself, your tool of choice is going to be a non-contact probe because this tool can determine if there's voltage anywhere in the plug or in the connections coming into the box servicing that plug. The socket tester, while a great diagnostic tool because it can tell you whether there's a reverse, a hot neutral, it has the problem that an open hot is indicated by no lights, which is the same indication that you would get if the power was off to that plug. So you don't know for sure if you're looking at an open hot 
or no power. I want to be 100% certain that there is no voltage going into that plug when I'm working on it. The multimeter or voltmeter, the difference being that a multimeter can also read amperage, ohms, etc., is capable of determining whether there is voltage in the wiring or in the conduit or anywhere, but it's big, it's got controls that you have to deal with, it's got probes and leads. This is a much more compact and easy to use tool. It even admits a tone. So for this purpose of testing a plug and the wiring associated with it, this is the tool that could literally save your life. If you found this interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment as always. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.